Hello guys, welcome to this video where I will talk about live streams as a filmmaker. It's October 2020 and uh, the worldwide pandemic is still going on and I see it very much as a business opportunity if you want to put it that way or an opportunity to help people and organizations where we cannot have normal events going on in the world right now. So the demand and questions about live streams are increasing so fast. I get so many questions about live streams and I I try to do as many as I can for a reasonable fee, of course, and um, I won't talk too much about whether I want to go all in on live stream or not, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to do it full time. With that said, I want to take you with me tonight to a live streaming event, what I will call big during these times, with two persons making the live stream. And I will also talk about the equipment when I downsize, when I'm solo operating a live stream with multiple cameras. And what I want to try out later in this video is if I can use this Atomos Shogun 7 as a main switcher in a live stream. So I will experiment with that later in the video. This was the fourth or fifth time I tried to make behind the scenes footage and show and tell what's actually going on while we're making these live streams. But time flies out the window while on set. And I think that's one of the problems I'm having with live streams. I'm not exactly a beginner, but of course I'm not a professional either. But on set, it seems like people look at me more like a technician than a filmmaker. And I feel certainly more like a technician than a filmmaker. I have to solve so many problems that I'm not used to while making films in a traditional way. And time just flies away. So I guess you have to take my word for it. We use a lot of stuff on these live streams, big cases, big boxes, a lot of cables, and uh, it's heavy and it doesn't suit my car very well either. So I'm thinking of downsizing, especially when I'm solo operating a live stream, I want to have smaller, lighter gear. And that's exactly what I'm trying out today. So this is usually my B camera, the FS5. Right now I'm filming the main camera, FX9. It's a little bit dark here, but um, I have the FX9 here. And here we have the Shogun 7, which is the recorder, monitor and also switcher. So right now I'm actually recording one, two, three channels. This third one is uh, the computer over here, because usually you have a presenter and a keynote at a live streaming event and you want to have that into the recorder and st streaming device as well. So I'm actually thinking of uh, showing you guys with this keynote I put together. So we have a presenter, a keynote, usually on a stage. This is the main camera operated by me. I have a second camera and the Shogun 7 recorder, monitor and switcher. So of course we connect the cameras, we can have a third camera if we need it, if we want it. But also connecting the computer to um, the switcher so we can have a clear image of uh, what the presenter is showing and talking about. And the MacBook Pro is um, often used as a streaming device. To make that happen we need a Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder and off to the streaming device and internet and this is what I want to be able to do while on set. Actually mount the Atomos on my tripod and I operate my camera while the computer is way off and uh, just streaming out to the internet. So by switching different channels and presentations, I think I have a nice setup right here. In this experiment setup I had to disconnect the computer and make it a streaming device to be able to actually live stream. And I can already see that this is working out great because when I'm switching over here it's working really nicely over there. When I'm switching 
it's also switching into this very computer. I made a short broadcast to Facebook and some of my friends saw it just to make sure everything was fine. And that was a very good thing of course to actually test it because I found out the feature in the Shogun 7 where the audio follows the switch. So um, I was losing audio while I was switching and that was a stupid mistake but um, once again you learn every day and this was just a simple test with my friends. To sum things up in this video, I think this kind of setup is the way to go forward for me, especially when I'm solo operating live streams. When it comes to technician filmmaking stuff I talked about earlier, I haven't decided. Maybe if I going down this route, I get more comfortable. But uh, it's a big difference, especially for me, being a technician, doing live streams and uh, the passion in making films. So uh, two different things and I guess you can have a, a combination of that. But uh, don't miss out on the live stream opportunities if you have the gear and the, uh, if you have the time to try things out and uh, become more comfortable making live streams. I hope you find this video useful in some ways. If you like it make sure you press the like button, subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.